What's going to guys? Welcome back to the channel. Go ahead, take a good look at the front end of denim because by the end of this video, it's going to be completely different. Y'all have been yelling at me in the comment section saying, put clears in this thing and we're going to in today's video, but I honestly haven't minded the factory headlights because I guess we got that whole old school vibe going on and it just kind of works. Honestly, this red emblem sticks out a lot worse to me, which we're definitely going to address. Um, I prefer the Chevrolet front end over the GMC if I'm being totally honest and I thought about doing a front end swap, but I figured we might do that in the future, but let's go ahead and just address the GMC front end for now. Honestly, there's only like three or four things you need to do to the front end of one of these OBSs to make it look absolutely killer. Uh, clean it up a ton, which we're going to be doing those things in today's video. So enough rambling. Let's go ahead and figure out how to get this emblem off and get started. I kind of forgot how to work on an OBS. It's been so long, but you do have to remove the entire grill assembly in order to... Um, get this out because there's no room right there. Our horn, I think it is, is right there. Um, but it's a 316 to get these uh, these two guys right here off and pull the headlights out. Thankfully, this truck does already have LEDs in it, so we didn't have to buy those, which is always nice. All right, so just twist. It's always a good day when those aren't completely flaking around, just absolutely ruined. Now, at least on my truck, we have four seven mil bolts holding the grill on. You do have a bulb in this corner marker right here, so go ahead and unplug that guy on both sides. Almost forgot the most annoying one right here in the grill. Somebody was probably yelling at me through the screen saying, don't forget about that one, you're gonna break it. Well, I didn't break it, but I did totally forget about it. Come on. Comes. It's a half inch, you get the quarter marker lights out as well as the emblem. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but to me, plastic dip is goaded just like zip ties and duct tape. I'm gonna do that every 10 minutes or so for probably four or five times and we'll be done. It's gonna be four 10 mil bolts holding this front plate on. Probably gonna have to hold it with a half inch on the back side. It's kind of attached to the front trim, which is fine because it's coming off as well. Uh oh, <laughs> it's screwed in with those Phillips head. We're just gonna break it. Now it's time to just manhandle this thing and rip this front trim off. There she is. Now we got some serious cleaning to do. washing it up our bumpers in a little bit rough shape obviously this is a 27 year old truck so what do you expect but got a little bit of rust spots here and there just surface for us we're gonna try to polish this out um, I could not find my actual polisher but I did find my sander which the pad will stick to so we're gonna go ahead and do that and try to get this at least uh, this portion a lot more shined up and maybe get rid of some of this maybe knock off this surface rust we're just gonna have to see some oxidation going on right there Yeah. 
not gonna make it absolutely perfect because I don't have the right polish or anything, really. But we just want it to be a lot better than it was. And that appears to be making a pretty big difference. So is it perfect? Absolutely not, but neither is the rest of the truck. Honestly, it cleaned up a ton better than it was, and I'm pretty happy with it. So now we're gonna go ahead and fill in all of those holes using this right here, which I'll have a link to in the description. It's like 15, 20 bucks, three quarter inch uh, chrome strip, 3M, and uh, it cleans up the front of these trucks super good. You just gotta make sure you put it on straight. Crucial moment. Once we get started, we got to continue. All right. I'm going to pull off quite a bit. And we're going we're gonna to eyeball it best we can. Come on now, don't choke, don't, don't choke. Gosh, dog, like I said, it's not easy. It is not easy to line it up. Great. But we're going to do our best. Hold this. Should be okay. That's looking pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know what the dogs are barking at, but they ain't happy about something. Pretty good. Take a little step back. I think so. I think. All right, now we're just going to take our scissors and cut the flat end. Cut the end off, same as on this side. Might do something with eyeballing it. Is it looking straight? Straight enough to me. Go ahead and press her on down. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. Nice and clean. Got our plastic dip done, so now we're gonna go ahead and peel the chrome. Just covering the red up, chrome outline. Should look really good. And get it started. Hopefully it peels right. Let's break that. This is why I love plastic dip. Finally, there we go. A couple little pieces I gotta dig out, but that looks super good. I'm stoked on it. All right, let's go ahead and unbox them, see what we got. Obviously, we went with some clears. So here's our turn signals. Looking crispy. 
Then we got what should be our corner marker lights. It is. And what is this? Just filler? Yeah. And our headlights. Which, why do they have these mounts? They came with the mounts? I guess they did come with the mounts. So we'll just take these off and uh, throw them in because our factory mount's not broken or anything. And we're definitely not going to swap them out for uh, cheapo Chinese plastic, that's for sure. Obviously, it's not hard to tell which one is which because one has a bulb in it and one does not. They are listed left hand and right hand, so that's also pretty easy to figure out. I don't know how many times you got to take these on and off before the little arms wear out, so definitely be careful with that. Tight. I'm gonna go ahead put the nuts on the back side of this and be ready to throw this thing back on the truck. Alright, let's try to get all of our lights fed through the right place. Holy crap, dude, even without the headlights in, that is looking absolutely insane. If your lights are not lining up, you've got them on the wrong one because there's a little tab on the back side. It has to go on the outside. Ready for a little ASMR? Oh yeah, <laughs> some good ASMR with a freaking, <laughs> oh, the freaking dogs barking. All right, boys, we are done. Let's go ahead and run some B-roll. Here she is, and I am absolutely in love. It turned out super, super clean. The blue and the chrome just pops like crazy. We definitely need to get us some LED switchback turn signals so we don't have all this orange from the front. Kind of disappears at an angle for the most part, but when you're straight on, it's definitely got a lot of orange, but dude, it looks so freaking good. I love it gonna get some better polish and try to polish out that bumper i don't know why i just said slow motion like that gonna get some better polish um <laughs> we're going to try to get this line out but man it turned out pretty freaking good got almost all of that um corrosion or whatever i called it off got all the um rust off of there we're gonna be redoing our tow hooks when we do the frame that's gonna be an upcoming video uh, but from before to now, that bumper is so, so much better. It cleaned up really good. Obviously, if you didn't have a front plate 
you wouldn't have those holes because I think on Earl I didn't have those holes. And you can just totally scrap your factory one and get a smooth all chrome front bumper. I think it's on the more expensive side. Maybe we'll end up doing that, I'm not sure. I still am considering doing a Chevrolet front end swap on this thing, but I do actually really like it now with the GMC black. We got a, a plane per the use. Looks like he's about to either make a landing or just took off from the river. I think they do guides of that. Should I do it for a video? I'm not. Let's be honest, I'm not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude, man, freaking denim looking insane. This truck is, uh, has grown on me tremendously. And I do see the occasional comment saying, what happened to this thing being a one month project truck? Well, you know, life happened, of course, which slowed me down. And then a ton of y'all really have showed your love for this thing. So I figured, you know what, why, why do a one month? We're going to do a one month in the future and I'm going to have everything lined up perfectly. I'm going to buy it before the actual month where we're supposed to do the one month and we'll do a fun breeze through it. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. Who knows? Maybe I'll give this thing away. I'm not sure. I'll see a lot of y'all comment in that, but I also get really tired of seeing all the giveaways that are already happening of course those are on brand new trucks and cost you 50 bucks or something to get entered so i don't know maybe we do a discount not brand new truck giveaway like a five ten dollar entry and i don't know tossing it around might not happen but then again it might uh, but to address the comments asking uh why do we still have this it's because this thing is awesome i love it a lot of y'all seem to really enjoy it and so since we missed the one month deadline let's just go ahead and uh, pump the brakes and enjoy every step of the way with it and then eventually sell it because, you know, we'll have to get something else on the channel eventually and we'll probably have to sell this thing to make that happen uh, unless y'all just keep absolutely destroying the views on here, running them up, sharing it with your friends, leaving the likes, comments, all that kind of stuff and we'll just keep chugging along on denim until we actually get this thing like freaking spot on even though to me it's it's great. For what it is, this thing is a freaking beast. I love it. Uh, it's just crazy from what it began as to this with only a handful of things done to it. <sighs> so good. But I'm going to quit rambling. I got to go film a video with Larry. So if y'all haven't seen that yet, look forward to it. Larry is about to look insane. But uh, yeah, I'll have everything here in the description. Uh, everything went together. I would say really nicely though. <laughs> the only thing. <laughs> which is kind of weird uh, i got that headlight to adjust properly but i couldn't this one i stuck a little plastic little thing right there and now it's it's level i don't know it's pretty ratchet but then again denim you know what you're a ratchet kind of guy or girl whatever the case i mean look we've kept the og uh bigfoot air freshener walking around with a six pack since the beginning i feel like that pretty much sums up See, if you hadn't seen it, it's literally, this was in the truck when I got it. It's Bigfoot walking with a six pack. And I feel like that sums up denim pretty good. Focus. Why are we not focusing? <laughs> we should have just called this thing Squatch, dude. That would have been fitting as well. But anyways, like I said, I'm Quit Rambling. Hopefully you did enjoy. Be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all the good stuff. I'll see y'all in the next video.